God for that this morning. To pay the last respects to our mother, our sister, and our friend, Mrs. Rosemary Evangelica, who has the contact in this world. And so, as a people of faith, faith in the resurrection of life, the resurrection of the soul, we come out here this morning to pray for her and to pay her our last respects. Ask God to receive our soul into the mercy of God, rest in peace. And so this mass is offered for her. So ask God for mercy. If there is any way she must have offended in all the wives she lived in our earth, for the mercy of God to be upon her and for paradise to be shown to her through Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves, therefore, to worship the Lord, we know we are sinners. Let us once again call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are sitting at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord is my shepherd, 
person does not live well in our pets, the person goes to hell. My dear brothers and sisters, the true reality is that God is not a wicked God. The God who created us in his own image and likeness wills that each and every one of us should be saved. The God who is not interested in the sin that a man or a woman commits, but the God who is interested in the salvation of the human soul. The God who will abandon his throne on high to stoop so low to come to die for us for our salvation. The God, the God who promises salvation to the repentant thief. The God who is always waiting to save the dying soul. This is the God that we pray to. And this is the God that our sister, late Rosemary, Lady Draga, worships. And I know that God will not abandon her at this time. The God who did not just stay far away from the reality that we experience, the God who also experienced death, Jesus went through death. Jesus, who is also the one, the Father, experienced death. But death was not the end of his reality. My dear brothers and sisters, because he lives, we also live. Because our God lives, we also will live. St. Paul gives us a beautiful theology about baptism. And he says, we are all baptized in Christ. We are all You all are potential conscious. 
and people get drop of sentence and they were looking at me, what do you mean? But that's the reality. Because where our sister Rosemary is, someday we too will go. We embrace that reality. And so we have potential corpses. What that means, simply means, is that one day we will die. And the question is, are we ready for that day? Are we ready to embrace that faithful day or we'll close our eyes in death and our eyes will never open again? My dear brothers and sisters, many are trying to get afraid of this reality. But I tell you this morning, don't get afraid of death. Why? Because Jesus died and he has shown us the way. And Jesus tells us that death is not the end of the human person. There is still resurrection. And that is our hope. That is our faith. My founders and apostles, my rabbi, we will always talk about the reality of death. And he says, prepare yourself to die. And he wrote a beautiful book, which he termed, Preparation for Death. My dear brothers and sisters, are you preparing for your death? Do you know one day this reality will come? It's always far away from us when we are talking of someone or a friend. We always come with cry, say, Kai, what happened to our friend? He's, she is dead, she is dead. Ah, God, why did you allow this to happen? But we never apply this reality to ourselves. Today, this is Sister Rosemary. Tomorrow, it might be me. Am I ready to embrace the reality of death? One of my commentators, God rest his soul, a beautiful man, a beautiful soul. When he taught me in my novices, he will always tell us something. He usually tells us, have you ever imagined the day you close your eyes and you know what up again? Have you ever imagined how it's going to be? And this man usually did something that amazes us. We have a cemetery up in Babylon. At times he goes to the cemetery and he lies down at the cemetery. You know what he was doing? He was trying to imagine how it's going to be on the day they will lie in on the grave. And he was just trying to comprehend how it was it's going to be. What is that reality is going to be? I, let me just try. I don't know what it is. I have not died before. Let me just see how what looks closer to the reality of the one who is lying. And it's not breathing again. My dear brothers and sisters, this is going to be our reality one day. Are we preparing to embrace this reality? Are we ready to embrace this reality? Yes, it's a human thing to be afraid. As humans, we are afraid to die. Jesus, too, perhaps expressed that fear when he was hanging on the cross. Eloi, Eloi, Madame Sabatani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So he committed his soul to his father. He committed his soul to his father. There is a reality that will come when it must come. It's a reality that will come when it must come. And so we should get ourselves ready. That is not the end of the human person. That is just a passage. The reality of being with God forever. It's just like the person traveling. Maybe perhaps the person traveling with the sheep. And you know what? As the sheep is sailing away from us to a destination where it is going, those who are waiting to receive the sheep are happy because they know that their loved ones are here coming to meet them. Here, we are here crying that we are going to miss our sister who is Mary. But in heaven, we are very happy to receive her. Because she is happy. And that is our hope. That is our hope. Our sister has gone back to her creator. One day, we all will go back to our creator. Are we ready for that day? Let us therefore prepare ourselves. Let us prepare our souls to meet that great day when we go back to our Father. 
And when our father was wiping away all tears for our cheeks, and he said to us, Cry no more, for in my kingdom there is no longer death, nor suffering, nor pains, nor afflictions. Come to where I have prepared for you to rise from the beginning of the world. Come, my son. Come, my daughter. But the soul of Rose Mary and the souls of all the faithful fathers. Eternal life grant unto our O Lord. Who raised his son Jesus from the dead? From death, that he may be from God's living and eternal rest.